Okay, okay back at it. We're back at it. <laughs> oh, I sneezed and missed it. Oh, shit. Whoa! Okay, so, um... Lord 666. The Urquan are really powerful. I'm gonna... Holy crap. Um, I'm gonna ask Richard to be quiet, because I'm gonna need to concentrate. Now, uh, the eluder is fast enough to outrun the fighters, so that's good. But, he's got one of the most powerful long-range guns in the game. And they do four damage per shot, and you can rapid fire them. Not to mention he has like ten times the crew. Like more like that. Oh shit! Oh. It's really close. Oh. Come on, come on, please. Oh. Yes! Oh! Oh, <laughs> stellar! Whew. That was our first Urquan! That was our first Urquan down. It's still not worth as much as the Cilantro. No, it's not. Isn't that sad? Okay, that was all <laughs> That was all that we were doing. I mean, here, they're Bela. full of minerals. But I want so I I to show you something, Richard. There's the Urquan Sphere of Influence. That's pretty big. Yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> Notice where the poor Zokfot pick are located. Right in the mid, uh, right, uh, the, the, uh, right near the edge. Yeah, that's why they're getting blasted. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to avoid that sphere as much as possible. We gotta go to the Zokfot. That was another option, wasn't it? Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna head for uh, Adolfo Pecule next since we're right there. Oh, so I picked the good option then. You did. Yeah. Dang. It's the option I hoped you would pick. So. So yeah, that was a fairly dramatic uh, introduction well, like, to the Urquan. Well, it was like, go home. Yeah, okay, why not? Oh, no! Oh, yeah. so, oh, I didn't expect that. That's sort of like Alderaan getting blown up, I guess. If you were, That happens like, in the beginning of the movie, though. I know, I know. And you don't really care about Alderaan, because like, you weren't actually even from there. Like, Princess Leia was from there, and she wasn't really an established Like, we only cared about point. Tatooine, but... Yeah. That didn't matter. Because <laughs> then they go back to Tatooine and return and to then, Jedi. And then Uncle Ben and, and Uncle Ben, Uncle, Uncle Owen, ben. Uncle Owen and Aunt Brew. That's why I couldn't remember. Yeah, and then Uncle Owen gets shot by a mugger, <laughs> and Uncle, that's when Luke becomes Uncle, Spider Man. Uncle Owen gets shot by Sin. I love I love how you just stop talking. Yeah. Save. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, what are they? We're about to find out, aren't we? I guess so, unless we're s quick and smart. Oh, we cannot run oars. Oh, I'm sorry. Spoiler alert. <laughs> what are the oars? You know them. We'll meet them in a second. I don't know them. Let's talk. This is a system message from ship's computer translation it's a fishman. subsystem. And they're sort of like perch, parrotfish. Unusual in ah. That's how the, the internet uses it. Translation many lingual anomalies. Overall accuracy of okay. translation is unknown. Hello, extremely. I hope you like to play. Um. Some campers are not so good for games. Why do they speak like this? Is it time for play? Because your viewers having a really hard time translating them. Uh oh. Uh, so Richard starts to dip butt. Yes, of course. Difficulty. Problems are difficult. <laughs> Let's be special together. Spicy games are always fun. I feel like I feel like it just asked to, like work with you or something. No, I we're just we're getting we're missing some words. You seem like friendly fellows. Yes. Yes. We are too friendly. Extremely happy sisters should correct each other for celebration. What? So much enjoyment. Shall we come to your house so that we can be I don't relative? like any of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure, but I think the answer is no. No point in rushing to anything. Let us think about it. Should we do an alliance? There's an option for an alliance. What do you think? 
I think our trans I think judgment. our translators busted, <laughs> or like they're just aren't translating correctly so we're like i think we're getting the opposite but if they're legit alliance would be a pretty good idea yes there is that seem to be a lot of them although this is supposed to be andrews in space these are definitely not andrews no these are ors yes as you spoiled i'm sorry it's all right it's, it's okay because they already already told you the ors were here remember Yeah, 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 they did. Yeah, okay. I totally did. So, they already told you that, so... They said, remember, we were like, so who are these parasites? And they're like, the Andresen found out, and now there are no Andresen. So Only these guys are parasites. Well, they're something. Parasites. Parasites. Uh, uh, okay. So... Where am I going? So how... Okay, so what about the Andresen? The Andresen, they're... This is their home star. Okay. And this is their home world here. They're dead, right? Well. Let's see what we can learn. I I'm I feel like they're dead. There's a lot of energy scans on this That's one. It's a few biological. But they're robots, so we need our energy. We want the energy scans. Apart from surface. Xeno story and Kilgore here. Sir, we <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Mm. Okay. These are the remnants of the Andresen culture. From the mass destruction we have witnessed, we can only assume that there was some kind of huge land war here within the past five years. Really? However, there is no repeat, no signs of orbital environment or invasion from space. Just a whole mess of buildings shot to pieces. So it came from internally. Probably so parasites, weirdest, like mm, you said. Probably the weirdest thing we've seen, or not seen, are corpses. There aren't any. It's as though something appeared out of nowhere, blasted everything with nuclear bazookas, then grabbed all the androsynth and disappeared. An additional report, sir, from science officer Bukowski. Maybe it's like, yep. you know how like the people live underground after Lavos blows everything up? Oh yeah. Like that. Yeah. In Chrono Trigger? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure I was clear on your reference. No, the sequel reference. to Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Chrono Cross. No, the other one. <laughs> Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> Chrono Crusade, I think? Uh, Unless, maybe that's just an anime. Uh, that's an anime. Left of the, there's a uh, fan-made sequel. What is it? I saw it, I actually saw it, like, a pirated copy in, like, a game shop in Bradley City Center Would one time. Would it be any good? I don't know. As far as I can tell, about seven years ago, the Antrocents began experimenting with something they called dimensional fatigue phenomena. Okay. I can't figure out what this dimensional fatigue, or as they call it, is, but maybe if we explored another city... I would be able to find more information on this subject. Well, let's keep exploring then. Bukowski again, sir. We have found another research institute. Well, the ruins of one anyway. The computer here is in better shape, allowing me to learn a bit about Anderson's investigation into DF, dimensional fatigue. Was it called? It would appear that their studies actually began over 10 years ago, after one of their blazer vessels discovered some precursor artifacts in Alpha Lalande. Oh, I want to write that down. What? I missed it. I was looking up Chrono Trigger Crimson Echoes. Yeah, that one. I'm pretty sure that's it. Alpha the Long Day. Write that down. Alpha. What? That's the Long Day. L A L A N D E. Long Day. Like Homestuck. As as far as their scientists here could tell, the device generated D F waves. I always think that's of. DF waves, which would allow the user to see into another, well, other dimensions, realms of existence, which share a position with our own universe, but have a different, um, what should I call it, reality phase. So it's overlapping. Anyway, the Andresons had hoped that the dimensional fatigue technology contained in the devices would permit them oh, to I create get it. new, faster forms of hyperdrive and hyperwave instead. I know what happened. Okay, what so happened? a thing opened up, guys came through, nuked everything, and left. Did they leave? They began their experiments. Oh. They made contact with something of life form on the other side, a creature from an alien dimension. Oh, oh shoot. The record is fragmentary here. I see requests to the central computer for information data on reality aberrations. The mosquito manje? 
and or ghosts, poltergeists, and other malevolent supernatural creatures. The requests grow more urgent, almost frantic, and then the record ends. Because the oars. Third time's a charm. The oars did it. Captain, this is Ensign Hawthorne standing in for Bukowski, sir. Bukowski has found something, but in the process he has gone kinda, well, kinda nuts. <laughs> when we first got to the city, Bukowski went wild because the science center was pretty much intact. We locked him, he locked himself in their computer control cabin and spent about 10 hours alone in there. We could hear him mumbling to himself, then his speech got louder until he was shouting. He was scared, sir, damn scared. We finally decided that we'd better check up on him. Bukowski wouldn't let us into the room. He said that no one could ever know what he had learned, that just knowing was enough to alert them. He kept talking about them. Crazy stuff, sir, about how they could see him now, and they were moving toward him. Then Bukowski started thrashing around the room, screaming that he had to destroy everything before they saw us, too. He did a lot of damage to the Anderson's computer before we stopped him. But I guess we mu he must have hurt himself in the process. He's cut up pretty badly. You know, it's strange. He must have hurt himself a lot more than I thought now. When I look at him, it seems like he has even more cuts than just a few minutes ago. And boy, is he screaming. Based on is the he dam getting cut from an alternate reality? Based on the damage Bukowski wrecked on the central computer, I don't believe that we will find anything more down here. I think we have learned all that we can from exploring these ruins. And frankly, with all of Bukowski's ranting, I'm getting a bit nervous myself. Call us back to the ship soon, please. Uh, your wish is my command. Woof. Uh, so we're going to Alpha Lalandi. No, we're not. We're not going to Alpha Lalandi. No, sorry, that was a red herring. I just wanted you to get used to writing down everything that people tell you. What's that Alpha Lalandi? Nothing. They already took the artifact. Oh. Ow! And there we see the little purple ring. That's the Ors sphere of influence. No, it's. Yeah, it's the Ors. Okay. So there's no Andersynth because the Ors killed them. That's what it seems. There's no Andersynth because the Ors. The oars made their ships out of them. Um. I mean, the oars don't really. Oh crap! Oh, what, what happened? Did I do? Uh... Whoa! <laughs> Yay! Technology. Uh, uh, I'll go fix this in just a second. <laughs> 